Fire at Peshtigo, by Robert W. Wells is a haunting narrative that delves into the catastrophic Peshtigo Fire of 1871, a tragedy overshadowed by the more widely known Great Chicago Fire that occurred on the same day. Through Wells' vivid and evocative language, the poem paints a chilling picture of the relentless force of nature and the human struggle for survival. The poem opens with a stark portrayal of the fire's inception, a forest blaze, a spark, a flame, slash then a mighty fire that none could tame. This concise yet powerful language immediately sets the tone for the impending disaster, creating a sense of inevitability in foreboding. The use of alliteration in Forest Blaze enhances the intensity of the fire, emphasizing its destructive nature. Wells employs vivid imagery to convey the sheer magnitude of the blaze, describing it as a furnace heat, a scorching breath that engulfs everything in its path. This personification of the fire as a living, breathing entity adds a layer of malevolence, transforming it into a relentless adversary. The juxtaposition of furnace heat and scorching breath evokes a sense of suffocation and impending doom, amplifying the emotional impact on the reader. The poem seamlessly weaves historical context into its narrative, referencing the concurrent Great Chicago Fire, while Chicago sleeps, unaware of harm, slash Peshtigo dies in the fire's red arm. This juxtaposition not only highlights the tragic irony of the situation but also serves as a commentary on how certain historical events overshadow others. Wells brings attention to the overlooked Peshtigo fire, emphasizing the arbitrary nature of historical significance. The poet employs a rhythmic and rhyming scheme that enhances the narrative flow, making it both engaging and accessible. The consistent use of AABB rhyme scheme in each quatrain imparts a musical quality to the poem, mirroring the relentless and rhythmic advance of the fire. This musicality aids in creating a sense of urgency, drawing the reader deeper into the unfolding tragedy. Wells introduces the human element into the narrative, describing the desperate attempts of the townspeople to escape the encroaching inferno, wild-eyed and screaming they ran through the night, slash the flames pursued, a terrible sight. The use of vivid verbs such as ran and pursued conveys a sense of frantic urgency and desperation. The adjective, wild-eyed, not only emphasizes the panic but also suggests the disorientation and disbelief of the townspeople in the face of such a cataclysmic event. The poem captures the tragic aftermath of the fire, painting a poignant picture of the devastation wrought upon Peshtigo, when morning dawned, the town was gone, slash only ashes remained at the break of dawn. This stark imagery encapsulates the finality of the disaster, highlighting the transformative power of the fire that reduced a thriving town to ashes. The use of ashes serves as a powerful metaphor for the obliteration of lives and livelihoods, reinforcing the profound and irreversible impact of the tragedy. In conclusion, Fire at Peshtigo is a poignant and evocative exploration of a historical disaster skillfully blending vivid imagery, historical context, and a rhythmic narrative to bring the Peshtigo fire to life. Through Wells' masterful use of language and poetic devices, the poem not only serves as a memorial for the forgotten victims but also prompts reflection on the capricious nature of historical memory.